finding your old report card on which you forged your dad's signature, yes, that is also a uh, t turning back in our life. Most of us could relate to all or few of these sweeping emotions. Childhood is like a little box wrapped up with pretty paper with smiles, candies, rainbows inside. A little peek is all it takes to indulge and savor. Now, would you be able to imagine growing up without this childhood? Imagine those years of childhood uh, delight where your fondest memories not being existed at all. Wouldn't be it monstrous to steal some uh, people's earliest happy years without being existed at all? Childhood, a life without childhood is actually a life, a night without a dream, a, a morning without a sunshine, and a memory without a smile. Now let me narrate you a real life story shared by a 24 year old man. Manish recalls that he was 24 year old when his dad's friend used to call him his house every time whenever he was alone. He used to give him loads of candies and chocolates in return for sexual favor in the form of sick little games. This happened multiple times over many years. It was only until when Manish was 12 or 13 years of age when he realized that this act was actually sexual in nature and he stopped going to that man's house. It was many years later when Manish watched a television show which made him understood that he was a victim of a crime. Manish could not talk about this neither to his family nor to his friends. Manish was being violated but he could not understand it. And when he realized it, he could not speak about it. Child sexual abuse in part marks that last for a lifetime. Nobody should be deprived of the tomorrow even before they have begun. Nobody should be deprived of their it even before they have begun. Child sexual abuse does not necessarily mean rape. It can assume different forms such as luring or pressurizing a child to touch his or other's personal parts, making use of child for sexual gratification, forcibly kissing a child and uh, forcibly kissing a child and in, uh, taking photographs of a child's personal parts is also considered as child sexual abuse. The impact of abuse is a horrifying trauma which a person carries throughout his life. The impact can involve depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, physical damage, and psychological trauma are the few amongst many. The mixture of blame, shame, guilt, and fear challenges their body mentally and physically, making it extremely difficult to heal. Now, why am I sharing this with you all? The responsibility of keeping children safe lies with each one of us. We must all take personal initiative to educate the children in our lives. So much can be prevented by a mere presence of mind and correct conduct in educating our loved children. We should also not forget that few shared thoughts or words can actually open door for someone to lead a different life. Let the child know the power of no. We all want more than anything to spread, to shower love on our children. Maybe any child we know, maybe our siblings, our friends, or just about any child. We do everything in our uh, capacity to keep them happy and safe. We keep them away from fire, sharp edges, holding their hands while crossing the streets, walking the stairs, and so many things. But why are we not taking concrete measures to uh, protect them from this severe and critical issue of child sexual abuse? We educate them about how to do their homework, complete their lesson plans, but why have we not spoken or told to them about their personal parts and who can touch them and where can they be touched? One of the greatest barriers in our life, uh, one of the greatest barriers of communication is, uh, in our life is that it hangs over our heads, the biggest taboo that hangs over our heads. And that is sex and personal parts have always been a hush hush topic in our society. Our parents never spoke to us about it. That may drive us to think that maybe it's inappropriate to discuss sex with our children. Every time, you know, quickly we try to reach for the remote to change the channel every time whenever there is a sexual scene appearing on the television. 
what does this communicate to the child who is sitting there and uh, keenly observing our moves? They grow up with the assumption that sex is something to be embarrassed about and surely something not to be discussed with us at all. This taboo punches uh, an unpotential and uh, this taboo punches an uncomfortable and potentially builds up a gap between you and your child. Sexual abuse, many of the ch uh, child sexual abuse cases have not been reported. This means that a child is hurted and broken but pretends to be fine and behave normal out of fear and shame. Out of fear and shame. Now, the another uh, barrier, mental barrier in educating our children is that we live in the world of denial. If I say you 53% of children surveyed have experienced some sort of sexual abuse, you, may st you are still thinking, it's not going to be the child I know or I love. It's a nice little bubble which we blow for ourselves to float in the seas of horror and keep our sanity intact. But let us not allow this bubble to blow up our lives. In the latest, uh, there was a recent survey done in, in the latest statistical report on child sexual abuse. It shows that 21% of children have experienced uh, sexual abuse thing in which the child was sub forced to touch his or other's personal parts. In this percentage, the boy victims were more than the girl victims. 53% of children were forcibly kissed and shown adult movies. And again, in this, the boy victims were more than the girl victims. And in the above cases, 50% of the children were aware who was their abusers. Tragic incidents don't just happen to other people whom we read about in newspapers. It, does, it doesn't happen just by, to the girl child or by the strangers. Violations are mostly carried by, the, by someone who is familiar to the child. Let us not leave any room for negligence and ignorance. Let us be aware of inside world as much as outside world. Uh, threats can arise from the most least expected place. Happy faces, crooked faces, man or woman. The only safe haven what we can create for our child is that of knowledge, caution and sense. Now, before I go, I would like to give three power rules to teach our children. Let them be aware about touch safety. Educate each child and let them know what safe touch and unsafe touch means. Where can they be touched and where cannot they be touched? Who can touch them and who cannot touch them? Now the second rule is openness with us, uh, parents, no secrets with parents. Approach them with love. Keep healthy environment at home. Approach them with love, throw their, throw their fear and shame outside the window and let them be aware and known that any fact can be shared with you. And the third rule is, it's your body belongs to you. Let them be aware that their body belongs to them and cannot be used by anybody as and when they please. Now I would like, before I go, I would like each one of you in the hall and would like to request you all to recognize one child in your life whom you care about and pass this life-changing message in their life. And also I would like that let us join, ha, come, let us come together to bring this little innocence, to bring this uh, sense in their innocence. Thank you all. Thank you for listening to me and I request that you know seriously identify one child and just pass on this life-changing message. Thank you so much.